car waiting for, for my guys to show up. You know, it's winter time. Uh, it's not critical that we get out real early. I guess I'd like to talk about this 18-foot classic for a second. This is a 1989 18-foot classic. Uh, I'm in limbo right now between boats, and uh, I want to give uh, Shawl Sport, Wes, and Kyra a big shout out. Um, number one, for making a good boat. Number two, for loaning me this boat um, during the interim. I've been on this 18 Classic now since September. Um, and it's, it's, done, it's done its purpose. It's got me from point A to point B, which is fine. Um, but y'all could hurry up just a little bit and get my boat ready. So I'm looking forward to getting into my new SCB. Um, but again, at the end of the day, you know, Wes and Kyra, came through. They knew I was out of a boat from September till maybe February. It's now uh, end of December. And uh, they loaned me this 18 foot classic, which is a totally cool boat. I can just about do anything I want in it. A little, a little rough on the windy days, but just hug the shore lights and get around and do what I need to do to get from point A to point B. But anyway, thanks a lot guys. This 18 footers doing, doing, me, doing me justice for the, for the interim. Alright, here we are with Zach and Rick. First time meeting these guys right here. Uh, so we'll see how this day goes. But we were supposed to fish yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we had a major front come through. It's uh, today's Thursday. We're supposed to fish Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Major front, no way we could have fished yesterday. It was 30, 35 mile an hour out of the north. The bay was chocolate milk. So today, obviously, we're going to be dealing with high pressure. Uh, the fish, the water temperature was 78 yesterday and it's 72 today. Um, so we'll see what happens. Air temperature this morning. What was it coming in? 48. 48 degrees? Yeah. yeah. So yesterday was nearly 80 degrees, 77, 78. Yeah. Now this is 40 something degrees this morning. So a little shift in gears. We might have to work for them a little bit, but we will. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to produce those fish. I don't think the water temperature dropped too much to where they'll be shut down too bad. Uh, we'll just have to work through the high pressure. We've got a miner about 11 o'clock this morning, so we'll be set up at, I think, hopefully the right place. It's already. So, we'll see what happens out there, but it's definitely a bluebird day. spot produced absolutely nothing as you can see we're dealing with extremely high pressure we say that all the time but that's what we're dealing with um, no one had a blow up on top water we were just trying to locate some fish the bait was down so we moved to another location I found a grass line out in front of us and I zigzagged and saw some pretty nice fish in there reds and trout so we got one guy on a corky one on top and I'm downsized and uh, I'll be throwing this uh, Junior Wiggalo. It's kind of a field testing mode right now. Just under four inches, barely. Smaller profile. Got it rigged up with an eight ounce jig head. I'm gonna try to bounce this little guy across the bottom and uh, see what happens. So we got a guy on top, a guy in the middle, and I'm gonna go down on the bottom. We're gonna work up to that grass line, work it thoroughly push through it just a little bit and grab those potholes and evaluate our situation and then make a decision what we're going to do next. hitting it hard it's like a little tap so Zach you might put a plastic on okay. and then you stay with the corky for a couple more casts okay. well, he's eating
Rat reds always eat first. Little trout. All right, first trout of the day. So we've moved about four times. We've been in cold water all day. The front came through yesterday. Totally bluebird sky today. We knew it was going to be tough. We finally found some warm water, warmer water, and uh, my second, second good fish, good hit. I lost one a minute ago. But they're hitting about like the guys were asking me how to hit. About like a blade of grass hitting your lure. Don't know that they're on there. And then they're on there. And I lost the first one. But this is kind of what we're looking for. Some nice trout. You can see just because we had about a 10 degree water temperature drop. 77 yesterday was water temperature. Today it's about 70, maybe 67. And just in that short period of time, these fish got sea lice on them. They've been real active the last week because we had uh, warm water temperatures. But this week, just overnight, they, they bunkered down and they're not moving much. Post front, bluebird sky days, three or four days after a, a full moon, you know, all, all the conditions are not good, so to speak, for catching big trout. But we managed to get one today. Not real big, just a nice, uh, good quality fish. Let this girl go. Real slow. So what we're up against, we found some warmer water. The fish are still super sluggish. 
they're hitting like a blade of grass <laughs> and that's why I've opted to throw the willow tail because it's real lazy when we have high pressure three or four days off a of full moon and these fish are not traveling very far to get the bait so you have to put the bait in front of the fish coupled with not moving the bait away from the fish before it decides to eat the bait because I think these fish, they might see it, and if you pull it away, they'll say, ah, I'll catch the next piece of bait that comes by. Uh, so it's important to try to keep that bait in the zone, in front of that fish, as long as possible without getting grass and coaxing them into eating the bait. So this willow tail has worked good for me and Zach because we're dangling in front of them and they're eating that bait. But if you move it too quick, they're not moving two, three feet. They're going to forget it, they're not even going to go get it. So that's kind of been the play after we found warmer water and we capitalized on that moon setting. Like the moon was fixed in the set and I told Zach and his father-in-law, I said, let's get out of here, let's go set up somewhere else right before that moon sets. And we've had eight or nine fish. It's just in the period of time, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I've been our best bite so far today since we missed the major this morning. So we're going to reset. I'm going to make a little loop. The moon is down now. I'm going to make a little loop, see what I see, and then I'm going to move over about 200 yards from where we just stopped and just come through this little, make this little pass again, because I think there's a couple more good fish in here. We got one on, we landed one and lost one. So that's our play moving forward this afternoon. Come on. Not good with the boga. Fish are lazy, give them a lazy bait. Never felt the fish, lifted up my rod tip, weight was there. Real nice trout. Got a few sea lice on it, not, no, not many. So we're winding down the day, went to an area that's been holding some big fish. 
bait looks good, a little blown out. Here we are, water temperature is cool again. So we went from cold water temperature this morning, cool water temperature, warm water, caught the fish, now we're back in the cool water. It's not happening. So we're gonna call it a day. We're giving it one last ditch effort. See if we can get a big one. It's just not right. Something's just not right here. We haven't had a hit. And we've been catching some really nice fish in this zone. Baits everywhere, you just saw that. And it's running, it looks like it's scared too. Can't seem to get the fish to eat. So we're going to give it a shot tomorrow. They're better conditions tomorrow. Pressure is going to drop out. Cloud cover is supposed to roll in. Maybe we can get them on top in the morning. This is what we're going to try to do. We'll probably come back in a general area like this. See if we can get them. It's been a pretty tough bite for most of the day until we found that warm water. We capitalized on the miner. And it happened during the minor. We probably caught a couple dozen fish, a couple of nice overslot trout. Um, but that's how it goes. You kind of make those moves when you need to. The moon was just about to set. Man, we hauled butt to this location. The water happened to be warmer, which was good. And the fish were there and they were eating. And that was pretty much our best bite for the day. It's late in the evening, sun's going down. Try one last ditch effort.